Parents rely on school districts to keep their children safe from the classroom to the school bus. But parents in Kyle want answers after an elementary school student brought a BB gun to school and then fired it on the bus ride home. KXAN Sophia Beausoleil has been digging into this story. Parents at Science Hall Elementary School received an email on Monday letting them know that a 10 year old brought a BB gun on the bus. We've learned from Hay CISD officials that it was actually two kids that played with the gun that shot off and hit several kids in the ankle and also the bus driver. Valerie Rivera picks up her son Valentine every day from school. He's in kindergarten and doesn't ride the bus just yet, but will in the next couple of years. So when she learned that a student brought a BB gun on a school bus, she was concerned. Of course, at first I was a little freaked out. This is my son's very first year in school, so of course I was like, what? Hey, CISD says a 10-year-old boy brought the BB gun to school, but played with it on his way home from school on bus number 169. Certainly it was, a, it was a scary situation for, I'm sure, students on there as well as parents. The district says the boy and his eight-year-old friend pulled the trigger several times, hitting a student in the foot, another in the ankle, and the driver. She pulled over immediately and called for help. The district says it doesn't believe that the kids were being malicious. That does bring us a little bit of comfort that it wasn't some type of plot when it was on purpose. But at the same time, it doesn't bring a lot of comfort because there shouldn't be a BB gun on the bus in the first place. The school says it's stepping up its efforts to be more observant, but they're also relying on parents for help so that they can talk to their kids on what they can and can't bring to school. I myself, I always check my son's backpack before he leaves, before, when he gets home from school. So it's not just the school's responsibility, it's also the responsibility of parents to make sure that this does not happen again. You just get food. Valerie says her son likes to play shooting games, but explains to him that they're not toys in real life. Who's your homie? You are. No. Something she says she hopes other parents are doing as well. Reporting from Kyle, Sophia Beausoleil, KXAN News. The school district says the boys will not be charged with a crime. State law says a child must be at least 10 years old to be charged as a juvenile. They say the child who pulled the trigger was 8 years old. Hayes Consolidated ISD officials do say, however, the children will face punishment.